Thank you. Um, I'm pleased to announce that the Pacific Islands Development Forum will be holding its uh, third summit from the 2nd to the 4th of uh, September here in Suba at the Grand Pacific uh, Hotel. And the theme for this year's summit is uh, Building Climate Resilient Green Blue Pacific Economies. The Prime Minister of Thailand, General Prayut chan Cha, will be the chief guest at the summit and he will be joined by other prominent diplomats including the Secretary General of the Commonwealth Secretary Mr. Kamala Sharma and the former President of Ireland and currently the UN Secretary General Special Envoy on Climate Change Ambassador Mary Robertson. The summit will uh, host 200 participants from across the Pacific there will be more than 200 participants. And around the world, other non-Pacific countries will be represented, including Thailand, Kazakhstan, Philippines, Chile, Venezuela, Argentina, Netherlands, Israel, Kuwait, New Zealand, Australia, the UK, India, Finland, US, and uh, Georgia. These are the list that uh, we have uh, received applications of. The significance of this uh, summit is, uh, as you know, it, it, it is a landmark uh, uh, summit uh, due to a number of uh, important uh, reasons. The first one, uh, as you know, it will witness the promulgation of the Pacific Islands Development Forum Establishment Agreement uh, through a charter by the people of the Pacific that will formally establish the PIDF as an international organization. The charter is in its draft form, has gone through a very comprehensive consultation in our process with representatives from the public sector, private sector, and civil society from across the Pacific, converging in Suba on two occasions to discuss and debate the contents of the charter. This charter will be signed by the leaders, and it will give an international persona to the organization. The second point is the, the summit will also uh, formally launch the, uh, the first regional development fund under the PIDF. This is a trust fund that will finance regional development for long-term sustainability of the activities of the PIDF and her member countries. The fund, once established, will uh, consist of contributions from members and development partners and such other sources for the purposes and functions of the organizations as defined by the charter. Uh, thirdly, the summit will also witness the an announcement of the appointment of the first permanent secretary general of the PIDF. Um, and, uh, Lastly, this third summit is in line with this year's uh, climate conference theme, which is building climate resilient blue Pacific economies. And it will provide that pivotal platform, uh, allow the, the Pacific Island countries the final opportunity to come together to discuss their stance, their positions in the critical 31st conference of parties to be held in. Paris later this year. The key messages will be uh, will form or will culminate into a declaration on climate change, which we will call the the Suva Declaration. As uh, as of to date, the invitations that uh, we've received thus far uh, issued on 8th of June, closing on. 14th of August, you can see those countries, those specific uh, countries and territories uh, that have confirmed, and those in red fonts are those that have, has never attended uh, the PIDF summit. Right now we have 17, and uh, we're hoping that more countries will be attending uh, this year's uh, summit. We're expecting uh, 200 out of 400, as I said earlier, 
total registrations to date is uh, 181. So obviously the numbers will go over the 200 mark. And we are also preparing for that in terms of numbers going beyond 200 by creating an overflowing flow room that will accommodate uh, participants. As you know, it's drawing lots of uh, uh, interest from civil societies, private sectors, and even, even government here in Fiji and abroad and around the region, those who want to uh, attend. For Pacific uh, leaders, those, those who, who have uh, confirmed, uh, we have the Nauru president, President Wanga, the President Atong of uh, Kiribati, the Premier of Tokelau, the pre Foreign Minister of Tuvalu, the Foreign Minister of Marshall Islands, Mr. Tony De Bruyne. And uh, there are a couple who have informed us that they would be attending, but we are still awaiting you know, uh, confirmations from them, like the Senior Minister from Papua New Guinea, the uh, Foreign Minister of uh, Timor Leste, the Governor of the Commonwealth of the Northern Marianas, uh, CNMI, and uh, President Fritz from uh, French Polynesia. Now, in terms of our partners, those who have confirmed, you can see the countries there, the Foreign Minister of Kazakhstan, the Minister for Maritime Affairs and Fisheries, Madam Susi from Indonesia, uh, the Assistant Secretary for Asia and Pacific Affairs, Ms. Minda Kalugan from the Philippines, Belgium, Chile, EU, Venezuela, Argentina, New Zealand, Netherlands, Israel, Singapore, Sweden, UK, Kuwait, Thailand, Russia, Serbia, and the US. In terms of multilateral uh, participations, the Secretary General of the Commonwealth, as I mentioned earlier, uh, His Excellency Ambassador Kamala Sharma, and the uh, UN Secretary General Special Envoy on Climate Change, and former President of Ireland, Ambassador Mary Robinson. The program is structured in such a way that um, that uh, we are able, you know, to cultivate or uh, encourage discussions on the theme, which is climate resilient, specific economies. Uh, starting on the first day, which is Monday, 31st uh, of August, there will be some committee meetings in terms of uh, um, finalizing the various uh, documents that needs to be presented to the summit and starting off with the PIDF Senior Officials Committee. This committee is chaired by His Excellency High Commissioner Patterson Odi, uh, the Solomon Islands High Commissioner to Fiji. And representatives are drawn from member countries who are based in Suva and other stakeholders institutions based in Suva as well as in the region. Then we have the Executive Board meeting. The board meeting comprises of ministers and CEOs of uh, various organizations like PIPSO and, uh, and uh, Piango. The, the meeting is chaired by the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs of Fiji, Ratunapi Kumabola. Then we, uh, then on Tuesday morning, there's the Governing Council meeting that is chaired by the Honorable Prime Minister of Fiji. These are the meeting of leaders not only political leaders, but leaders of civil societies, private sectors, who are members of the uh, BIDF. And then the welcome ceremonies will start at 3 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon. The venue for the ceremonies will be held at uh, the Great Council of Chiefs uh, compound. Uh, and uh, that will Accord traditional ceremonies of outcome, as well as the military honors that will be done by the, the Republic of Fiji military forces. Welcome reception in the same afternoon from seven, uh, same evening, seven p.m. to nine p.m. will be hosted by the Honorable Prime Minister of Fiji, <coughs> and uh, the opening ceremony starts on Wednesday morning. As you can see in the program. Uh, it's detailing the program with the keynote address to be delivered by the Prime Minister of Thailand, who is our chief guest uh, this year. Thereafter, there will be um, a Thai exhibition that the, uh, the Thai government has requested us also to facilitate 
and that will also be opened by the Prime Minister uh, on Wednesday morning. And, and then the, um, the plenary session starts, as I said earlier, you know, the, the theme is on climate change, building climate resilient green blue PCB economies that would engender allowing discussions on this existential threat of climate change to our very specific islands and communities. And um, there's a detailed uh, program, as you can see, goes right down from uh, Wednesday, including a private dinner for the, hosted by the Prime Minister of Fiji, and that is uh, sponsored by uh, ANZ Bank, and we are thankful to ANZ for their continuous sponsorship and partnership towards uh, this particular um, event, and we look forward to future um, partnerships with them. Uh, on Thursday, this is a, a, an important part of the program because we are engaging all sectors of society in terms of uh, uh, formulating a, a climate declaration that leaders would be able to take to Paris. As you know that uh, uh, <clears throat> the importance of uh, engaging our leaders and our technocrats and all our officials who are contributing you know, to this important work is important. So we will look forward you know, to their full participations in, in, uh, in this regard. At the end of uh, Thursday, we would like you know, to come up with a draft declaration. And uh, we are thankful to our Pacific ambassadors who are resident in New York. They are helping us in uh, drafting uh, this uh, declaration. And at the same time, uh, we can also say that the declaration is benefiting from other commitments, for instance, the Samoa pathway, as well as the recent Polynesian leaders' uh, um, declaration that was adopted in the Papua de French Polynesia recently. So this sort of enrich what we will call the leaders' declaration that they will take to, to, to Paris for the climate conference. And uh, also the, the inputs from our technical agencies in the region, uh, the crop agencies, the UN agencies has been very useful in terms of the sectoral focus of issues affected by climate change. For instance, on track one, we have health, water, and sanitation, SPC, USP, and UNICEF. They have been um, helping us putting this session together. And also track number two, marine environment, oceans, and fisheries, and so on. You can see in track number five, it's gender, youth disabilities, and human security. This is an avenue that we would be able you know, to hear the views of the, of the gender groups, youths, and disabilities, uh, so that we can incorporate a very inclusive uh, view in terms of the declaration. Technology, finance, and capacity building is also you know, another track. So the Thursday will, uh, will close by, the Thursday program will close by uh, a, an event, a cocktail event to be hosted by the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs of Fiji with his Kazakhstan uh, counterpart, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of, uh, of Pakistan, Mr. Idrisov. Uh, they will be hosting this event on Thursday evening. Friday is the last day of the meeting and as you know that uh, the organization, apart from its establishment agreement, development of its establishment agreement, uh, there are also institutional issues that we are developing in this organization in order to enable the organization to fully operate once the, uh, once the agreement is signed by the leaders, is approved by the leaders. Starting off with the institutional issues, this is in terms of the capability framework of the organization, the organogram, 
as well as the HR. As uh, I mentioned earlier, the appointment, the recruitment of a new Secretary General is also part of this, as well as our financial issues, uh, financial procedures, policies and procedures that would guide the implementation or the operation of the, of the PITF. Also, we would like you know, to, to table this, uh, this super climate declaration, taking action on climate change. That will be done also on Friday morning. And uh, the declaration is expected to, to take forward the key messages from our leaders to Paris. As we know that negotiations right now are still very fluid, still based on the Geneva text, 90 plus pages. And uh, we need our leaders, you know, to, to, to carry messages across that would strengthen issues, uh, our issues in the new agreement. Then the signing ceremonies of the PIDF agreement, this is the signing of a charter, and uh, we are hoping that that will attract lots of uh, our member countries will come in prepared uh, for, the, for, for this signing ceremony. And that will bring us to the closing ceremonies, the, the introductory remarks, remarks by the Honorable Prime Minister of Fiji, and the closing address by Her Excellency Mary Robinson uh, to cap it off. Colleagues, that's briefly on the program and on the issues that we uh, putting together in terms of our programming for the summit, and I will be available for further questions, clarifications. Thank you very much.